All right, guys, so something I've learned since I did my 100 hour service is I watched the Project Farm video on Motor Quote or Motor Coat. I'm gonna put that up here in the description of the little card of that video. The Project Farm guy, he's super cool. He's not like completely scientific, but he's practical real world tests on, and he tests a whole bunch of motor oil additives. And Motor Coat is one that he tested, and it actually resists water. He put it on a metal device, washed it with water, it stayed on, was still caused good anti-friction properties. And out of all of the other additives, it had the most anti-friction, so caused the least resistance. So I'm gonna be putting this in my Suzuki's, but right now I'm gonna put it in my vehicle uh, that you've got here. I'm gonna start putting this in everything. And it's just real world tests, friction abilities, how much wear it provides, how much water resistant it has. So if you put that in like your lower unit, for example, and you get some water in it and the water gets diluted, the motor coat clings to the metal and doesn't wash off in the water. And so it provides that resistance to your lower unit. So I'm putting in the lower unit, I'm putting in the motors, I'm putting in everything. Okay, so you can see as I'm dumping it in my vehicle here, I gotta put 14 ounces, two ounces per quart. You can see the stuff is like super clear and uh, real thin. And that's super good stuff here. Still gotta put a little bit more in there. I'm just measuring it off the container two ounces per quart this thing takes seven quarts there we go it is a hundred bucks for a gallon so about 20 bucks a quart um, or 80 bucks for a gallon but uh, project farm guy says it's good I trust what he does so there you go okay you can see here that he's coating the bearing and the race with motor coat and then he puts water in the cup and to assimilate water washing the stuff off and then you'll see at the end he compares the bearing wear with the water and just the motor coat coating the bearing and just the motor coat without water and then the bearing with just standard oil next to it and you can see how what kind of improvements you get with motor coat and then even with the water even with your complete lower unit let's say for example filled with water but your metal components are coated with the motor coat, you can see the kind of uh, friction protection or wear protection you get from that product. So it's super impressive.